Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom, and today a step-by-step -step guide on how to put together a fabulous container. So in order to put together our containers today, let's go over some of our materials that we have. We have our plants, some really cool plants we'll talk about in a little bit. We have a pair of garden gloves. I like to wear garden gloves when I'm doing this. It's just, for me, it makes it a little bit easier. And then of course, we need some container soil, special soil that goes in the containers. Finally, we have our water at the end. We also have a little bit of food to put in the containers. When you're going out to buy the plants to build your container, you really want to be thinking in threes. You want to think of one, something that spills over the side of the container, two, something that fills the center of the container, and three, something that really is the wow factor, or some people like to call it the thriller in the container. So our thriller today are going to be the Tropicana cannas. Our spiller are just going to be these simple petunias. And our filler is going to be the celosia. This is a great plant which will flower all summer long and really fill the center of the container. Let's, let's get our little area here that we're going to work in. And the first thing I want to show you is this first container. So this is a synthetic container. And a very important part, a very important step, is that you want to drill a hole if there's not already one in the container. So this particular container does not have a hole. That's for drainage. If you don't do this, when you water or it rains, this can fill up with water and kill your plants. The container we're building today, we're going to add our stones because these plants don't necessarily need it very wet. If the hole's rather large at the bottom of the container, the stones also will stop the soil from coming out. We're using a container mix, and that's important because some of the other garden soils are much heavier, and we want something a little bit lighter. We also want soil with very good drainage. I don't fill the container all the way because we have to get the plants in. So first, let's add our centerpiece, the thriller. So we're using Tropicana Gold today, and you can see why it has that gold name. It's got that great gold color. I love the variegation in the leaves. Just carefully pop this out. Notice that it's a very healthy plant. It's got a lot of nice roots here. You want to be sure that you tease the roots. You don't want to just put it in like that because the plant will continue to grow in a circle. So loosen the roots. You can see how nicely the soil falls away. Those of you who live in the colder zones will definitely want to bring the container in a garage or the basement, or if you don't have either of those, you can dig it up and store it in peat moss for the winter. So there's a couple of choices here. We could put the canna right in the middle and surround it with our different plants that I showed you. I'm going to place it in the back. And this is just a personal choice. I'm going to place that in the back. I'm going to put the fillers in the middle and the spillers in the front. So this is the time that you can add your nutrients into the soil. If you haven't done so already, just add a handful. We've got some nice organic fertilizer here. We're going to mix that right in. And then finally, we're going to add in our spiller. So here's our petunias. I chose white. I thought the white was a nice contrast against everything. So there you have it. We've got our container. We've got our three different layers here, our spiller, our filler, and our thriller, the Tropicana Gold Canna. So remember, as it gets colder, the celosia and the petunias are going to die off. And the canna actually is hardy from about zone 7 all the way up to 11. So if you're in a colder pocket in zone 7, I say bring it in. Be on the safe side. Certainly zone 6, 5 and colder. Definitely bring this guy in. And because it's in a container, that's why I say in zone 7, things in containers tend to not be as hardy as things in the ground. So you definitely want to get this into a sheltered spot. In terms of watering, I like to check the soil and just be sure it's evenly moist and then just water it in the morning. So on a very hot day, this may need water in the morning and again late in the afternoon. In a rainy period, obviously you don't have to water it, but really, you know, you want to check it. You really want to, you really want to check it. You want to get your finger down in the soil. Don't just touch the top. Get down deep in there and see what it's like. If the soil's dry 
at two or three inches down, definitely water it. If it's moist on the top, don't water it. You can overwater containers. Different containers will need different amounts of water. So a wooden container, for example, will dry out faster than our synthetic container. A clay pot will dry out even faster than a wooden container. That's because it's so porous. So you definitely want to know your container. I hope this video allows you to build a container that's super in your yard. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.